Okay, in this lesson, we're going to talk about the quadratic formula. So, given a quadratic equation in standard form, who can tell me what the quadratic equation in standard form is? Equals, yes, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Okay, where a is not zero, because if a were zero, this x squared would be gone and you would have actually a linear equation, which would be left. So the two solutions to the equation can be found using the formula. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And I say all over because you see this fraction bar, it is dividing by all of it. Now you might recognize some of this. Do you do you recognize the negative b over 2a part? What do we use x equals negative b over 2a for? Exactly. Then you're adding and subtracting a number. That's actually giving you your x-intercepts. So the axis of symmetry is in the middle. And then when you add and subtract, what we call this part right here is um, actually underneath the radical we're going to learn is called the discriminant. But when you add and subtract the square root of this whole number, you end up getting a plus or minus from the axis of symmetry. So if you think about the fact that, like, let's say here's the axis of symmetry and it's x equals negative b over 2a, if you add and subtract the square root of that number, you're going to get over here, over here are your x-intercepts. Because when you, when you get this x value, you've solved the equation. We just found out that's the same thing as finding the x-intercepts, isn't it, when we solve for x? So using the quadratic formula, the first thing is we're going to write the equation in standard form, which we know is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Good. We're going to identify the coefficients a, b, and c. And then we're going to substitute those values into the, yes, the quadratic formula. And then what would you do last? Yeah, or simplify. We're simplifying because um, once we, once we plug those numbers in, it's basically solved once we simplify it, okay? So let's do this problem together using the quadratic formula. Let's first start, is it in standard form? How do you know it's in standard form? Exactly, and we have um, ax squared plus bx plus c. Identify then the a, b, and c. What is a equal to? Actually, I'm going to put it here. a equals... 1, b equals, c equals, okay? Now we're going to plug all of that in. So we have x equals negative b. So what's that going to be? Negative b is negative 2 because it's already a positive, so we have to make it a negative, plus or minus the square root of b squared. What's b squared? 4 minus, because we squared 2, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 8, correct? And then all over 2a. Oh, by the way, you can memorize it using the pop goes the weasel, weasel song. It goes x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over to a, yeah, Google it, okay? Okay, negative 2 plus or minus the square root. We're simplifying now. So what do I get on the inside of my radical? 4 plus, how do I, why do I have a plus? Because a negative times a negative is a positive. 4 times 8 times 1 is 32 over 2, keep going, negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 36 over 2. And we can simplify that because we are going to divide it up based on the plus or minus. So what's the square root of 36? So we have negative 2 
plus 6 over 2 and negative 2 minus 6 over 2. We can simplify both of those. Because 36 was a perfect square, we don't have to simplify the radical because we're taking the square root of it. So what's negative 2 plus 6 divided by 2? That would be 4 over 2, which is 2. What's negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8 over 2 divided by 2 is negative 4. So those are our two solutions, 2 and negative 4. Am I doing this right? How would we solve this by factoring? If I had x squared minus 2, oops, sorry, plus 2x minus 8 equals 0, who can tell me the factors? x minus 2, x plus 4, and what are my solutions? Oh, look at that. Those are the exact same answers we got. So which was easier? Oh, I love that you said it was factoring. Yes. Okay, this is your lesson then right now. If you can solve it by factoring, you want to solve it by factoring. Okay, you really only want to reserve the quadratic formula, all of these steps, when you absolutely have to. Because the problem is, a lot of times students, they're like, well, I don't like factoring, so I'm going to use the quadratic formula all the time. Well, the problem is there's so many places that you can make mistakes that a lot of times when you could easily factor it, you do the quadratic formula, you get the wrong answer because you made a mistake. Okay, so let's try a few more of these problems. In fact, I'm going to stop here and then have you should try them.